just a little annoying thing is that the uh, cut the wool will have to look. So I look. Then I'm going to be slowly to be slowly to be about two or three minutes. I'm just going to be like doing two shirts and shirts at a time and just going to be cut the wool or a lot of cream and green. <laughs> and um, basically, uh, um, um, I took on weed to like play it for real, like basically for weeds, like do things like spray. But I'm not kind of. I mean, I mean, um, guys, once you game play it off it, like basically once you game play off like the um, go to war. Three on P5, let me know what that button because like I was a little bit not on new soft for like main gameplay or all that. You guys wanna see that? Um you wanna see you guys wanna see gameplay, I will ask you all the all that and let you guys know. Yeah, if I'm yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can no problem with the wall, I no problem. Basically, like in the game, the story is like uh, the fight and all that. Maybe like a you know, maybe like the you know, like a lock. Maybe like the world like a lock. Maybe like a maybe a lock read, like a big problem with that world lock, some of the abilities and all that. You know, like in the gameplay, or in the God of War is one of the most beloved video game franchises ever. If you're a gamer and love Viking myth, lore, and legend, you're seriously missing out on a ton of action, adventure, and fun if you're not playing God of War. So stay tuned and don't go away, because God of War Ragnarok's developer has updated the game's release date and we're revealing everything we know about the latest installment of this mind-blowing franchise. First up, when can we expect to see God of War Ragnarok released? Let's find out. In 2018's God of War video game, Kratos wipes out the gods of Mount Olympus and moves on to the ice-cold Nordic lands of Scandinavia. Kratos and his son, Atreus, embark on a perilous odyssey in a dangerous world of gods and monsters. Fast forward to 2022, and in God of War Ragnarok, Kratos and Atreus are forced to survive the Norse apocalypse, known simply as Ragnarok. Recently, game developer Santa Monica Studios hasn't unveiled anything new about God of War Ragnarok. Initially, we were told the game would drop in 2022, but now some fans are starting to worry that Ragnarok might end up falling back to a 2023 release. Fans worry stem from the fact that Santa Monica Studios has been essentially radio silent about the highly anticipated game. But thankfully today, we've got some great news. One of the game developers working on Ragnarok is assuring fans that this won't be the case. According to a developer that works on the studio's community and social team, God of War Ragnarok will indeed launch... Launch at some point in 2022. The developer, known as Blue Owls, took to Twitter and put to rest any concerns that fans might have about the game's release date. And when God of War Ragnarok does drop this year, it won't only head to PlayStation 5. A PlayStation 4 compatible version will also be released. As far as PCs go, we'll have to wait to hear from Sony on that. Next up, which realms will the latest... Oh, we do like, yeah, 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 yeah,
God of War game explore. Let's have a look. Sony's Santa Monica studio has leaked a few trailers of God of War Ragnarok, and they look insane. You'll definitely notice some familiar faces, friends, and enemies. However, an aged version of Kratos and a much older looking version of Atreus will probably seem unfamiliar to you. One thing the trailers have certainly provided us with is a general idea of what we can expect in terms of the storyline. In God of War Ragnarok, you'll immediately notice an older, more confident Atreus, whose giant genes are starting to develop and show. Together, Kratos and Atreus struggle to survive the legendary Norse version of an apocalypse and will come face to face with foes from the original God of War as well as new ones, enemies like Freya and Thor. And as Kratos battles his enemies, he'll have to contend with Atreus's rebellious streak. Kratos Kratos will be learning a great deal about who Atreus really is. The story will take place across the nine realms, compared to God of War, where we only saw six. God of War Ragnarok's developers added the following three realms, Vanheim, Svartalfheim, and Asgard. The trailers introduced some new interesting characters as well, such as Angerboda and Tyr, the son of Odin, half-brother of Thor and Baldr, who was imprisoned by his own father. It's likely that Tyr will seek revenge against his father. Up next, how is video game director Eric Williams shaping the God of War franchise? You're about to find out. Sony has passed the baton to Eric Williams to direct God of War Ragnarok. Williams has worked on the God of War franchise since 2004 and is extremely pleased to have been given this opportunity. What is Outplay? You play, and it records. You can choose exactly what you want it to record, whether it be kills, assists, deaths, wins, just the action, which saves you a lot of recording space, and it's all neatly organized, which saves you time, too. The list of games is huge to direct the latest installment. In a recent interview, Williams said, staying true to what we did last time, it's keeping the father-son relationship moving. It doesn't just stop like, oh, we finished this for mom, we're good. No, like, there's a lot more that goes on in life, and it continues moving forward. PlayStation Studios chairman, Herman Hulst, opened up about making God of War Ragnarok accessible for both PS4 and PS5 users, and said, where it makes sense to develop a title for both PS4 and PS5, for Horizon Forbidden West, the next God of War, GT7, We'll continue looking at that. And if PS4 owners want to play that game, then they can. If they want to go and play the PS5 version, that game will be there for them. It's clear that PlayStation Studios understands the value of the franchise and is doing everything in its power to take God of War Ragnarok to the next level, ensuring generations of fans for years to come. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're revealing everything you need to know about God of War Ragnarok. Next up, what secrets does the trailer reveal about the game? Let's find out. In one of the God of War Ragnarok trailers, there is an opening sequence that seems unimportant important on its face, but upon closer inspection, it's actually a brilliant piece of foreshadowing about what we could see happen to Atreus. In the first shot of the trailer, Kratos fashions an arrow as Atreus walks in with a buck that he's killed. But if you pay close attention, when you first see Atreus's shadow, it's not that of a boy's. From that particular angle, the shadow looks like a hunched figure with horns emerging from the fog behind Kratos. It quickly becomes clear that it's Atreus carrying the mature buck with large antlers. Some fans suspect that this is a hidden easter egg that teases Atreus's full transformation into Loki in the final game. So where does this theory come from? Well, you'd have to go back to ancient Norse mythology. And one thing that we know about Loki is that he's commonly associated with having horns or antlers. In addition to the Norse mythology, Marvel Comics and the Marvel Cinematic Universe had also contributed to this version of Loki, who often wears a helmet with two long horns. And in pop culture, Vikings are often shown with helmets that feature horns and antlers. Horns have long been associated with magic and the occult as well. Atreus is associated with magic, and at one point summons a magical deer during a fight later in the trailer. Could we be seeing hints to Atreus' ascension to Loki? What do you think? Up next, what will Atreus do in God of War Ragnarok? You're about to find out. Not only is Loki commonly associated with horns or antlers in Norse mythology, but he is also associated with Ragnarok and the demise of the Norse pantheon of gods. So, what will Atreus, aka Loki, actually do in this latest game? According to a statement released by Sony's Santa Monica Studios, Atreus is desperately curious. Like most young people, he wants to understand who he is more than anything. In this case, he wants to understand who he could be. The mystery of Loki's role in the upcoming conflict is something that Atreus cannot let go of. He wants to keep his family safe, but Atreus also doesn't want to stand by and do nothing while conflict consumes the Nine Realms. Some God of War fans are still wondering how the new game will allow players to access these additional realms. Based on the Yggdrasil, aka the Tree of Life, players will be allowed to travel between the realms. Vanaheim, Svartalheim, and Asgard are visible in the Tree of Life, but were locked in the 2018's God of War game. Ragnarok 
Jack will explore these locations, which will make interesting additions to the lore and add more rewarding quests. One particularly important realm is Vanaheim because it's Freya's home. Next up, what are some of the other questions that fans want to be answered? Let's take a look. Players know that Kratos has Tyr's Unity Stone, and according to Mimir, this allowed the son of Odin to visit the other realms and lands. The other lands. And according to Mimir, this allowed the son of Odin to visit the other realms and lands. The other land. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fans refer to a much larger universe that the God of War franchise could explore in the near future, a universe beyond Norse and Greek mythology. But one question fans can't help but ask is whether or not Kratos will be worthy of Mjolnir. If you recall in Ragnarok's secret ending, Kratos fights Thor, and there's a cutscene where the thunder... God stands outside Kratos' home and seeks revenge for what Kratos and Atreus did to his sons, Magni and Modi, and Thor carries his signature weapon, Mjolnir. Kratos has a history of taking weapons from his enemies after he fights them, like the time he defeated Hades in God of War 3, and took the claws of Hades as a reward for his hard work. The same thing could happen in Ragnarok with Thor's Mjolnir, but the big question fans want to be answered is whether Kratos has done enough to redeem himself. If he hasn't, he'll likely not be worthy enough to take Thor's hammer. Finally. How does Ragnarok actually start? To be honest, at this point, that's a very difficult question to answer. What we do know is that at the end of 2018's God of War, Fimble Winter, a three-year period of intense snow and blizzards in Midgard begins. Ragnarok could start at the end of Fimble Winter, which is when Ragnarok is supposed to happen according to Norse mythology. Or it could begin sometime in the middle and build up to the apocalyptic events of Ragnarok. That's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching.